Alf, they are back again. They're back again to lie to us. Today we're talking about 2024 Tops Update Baseball Release, the reality versus the expectations and what's being sold to you. Stick around. What's going on, sports card hobby family? It's another day. It's another sports card video. Getting cold here in North Carolina. Actually, one of our furnaces went out, and so the downstairs was frigid for the last week. Finally got that fixed, and we're back up and running. Before I dive into this very important daily topic, huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Pristine Auction. Man, all the goodness, all the sports cards, pop culture, sports memorabilia stuff. They've got daily auctions. They've got weekly, monthly, elite monthly auctions. They've got 10-minute auctions. All sorts of goodness and I've got $10 off your first auction victory down below. The promo code is in the video description as well as in the pinned comments. Now normally, hold on, let me grab one. Now normally I'd be promoting my Slab Mags promo code for 10% off, but they actually have a 30% off discount going on right now. It's kind of the Black Friday, the Thanksgiving, whatever it is, the holiday discount. I, I went ahead and ordered some myself a couple of days ago. Check this out. This is a great opportunity. To, I'll be perfectly honest. I don't know if I've ever seen 30% off. You just go, the way I did it, just went on a Slab Mags website, and I went to go check out, and they just took the 30% off right there. But color matching your stuff, display is wicked, and then you've got UV protection, of course, for autographs. On Off Centered last night, we welcomed Charlie from Cards for Smiles, came on and talked about how they are essentially putting together care packages, cards for kids that are in hospitals, helping those in need. So make sure to check out Cards for Smiles. Let's see if I can put the IG up, but the website is also just cards, the number four smiles.com. And we talked to Charlie last night on our Off Centered episode. If you haven't watched that, that's at the beginning of the episode, the first 15 minutes or so. Are you tired of being lied to? Are you tired of being so Sold a bill of goods. What's that line off of Tommy Boy where he's like, yeah, it's a guaranteed piece of box of crap or whatever he says it is. I think you know if you've seen Tommy Boy with Chris Farley. If you haven't seen Tommy Boy with Chris Farley, watch that and then compare that to what we see in the sports card world. I'm only kidding, sort of. The thing I love about a lot of the IGers and the YouTubers and the podcasters out there, man, they're really excited about this product and they're equally as excited to sell you a break spot on the back end to get into these products. And that's what I think is always so fun. Join us on Fanatics Live. Yeah, you know, I think the product, there's some really good things about the product. Oh, and don't forget to get your break spots from us. Uh. You gotta love it. The one thing I will say about Topps Chrome Update, Topps Chrome Baseball, is I really like the new design, the design they came out with last year that Topps came out with. And the one-of-one -one debut patch auto cards are wicked, man. They're absolutely unbelievable. The only thing is, though, of course, they are literal golden tickets because there's approximately 100 of these in total in this year's product. So you look at how much they printed, man. You see in all the cases and cases and cases that are being opened. It is it's literally the factory in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they're ripping open all of the chocolate bars trying to find the golden tickets in mass. I want you to be the first to find a golden ticket, Daddy. Uh that, that's what we're doing here for these cards. And man, they're, they're unbelievable. The big ones, Paul Skeens, Ellie De La Cruz was already pulled. Jackson Holiday. I think there might be a few others as well, of course. But there's also just common players, too. There's just players that never played in the majors, probably never going to. Only about 100 of these were created. They're one of ones. They are awesome, but you've got breaker boxes at $400. You've got hobby boxes at $200. And through all the magic and the dust, all the smoke and mirrors that you're going to see about this, there's one guy that I watch. When I need to get the skinny, when I need to get like, hey, what's really going on with a product? And it is James over at Run Good Life. He did a great video. I'll put it in the video description. And it's a kind of reality, expectations versus reality or something like that for this particular product. The thing I like about it is he's opening up a box. He opens up a hobby box and he opens up a breaker box. The, the difference is, is the breaker box has 12 cards in it. They're all hits. But it's $400 compared to $200 for hobby box. He's just very honest about what is in this product. He knows the products back to front. Back to front. He also knows the players and kind of what the chases are and that sort of a stuff. And he's just really honest with the with the overall fact that the vast majority of these things, if you're getting one auto in a hobby box, 
the the vast majority are going to be autos of guys that you have never heard of and you never will hear of again. You know, it's going to be a lot of junk autos. We've talked about this. I know people get upset like, hey, that's not nice to say a junk auto. But literally, if it's just, you know, a relief pitcher or the fourth string, the seventh string guy over here, it's never going to see any meaningful play, playing time. Like, you know, let's just be honest with, with what we've got. You're going to pull a lot of $5 autos. Like your hit, your auto is going to be a $5 card, a $10 card, maybe a $20 card. So when you do the numbers here, of course, this is the big chase for the one of one debut patches, but I really want to see what the price points when Skeens, Jackson Holiday, when these come off of the board, when you got the big ones off the board, yes, those other kind of those no name debut patch autos, they're all, they're also going to command good money just because there's not very many of them, even for random players. I think people will try to just collect them. Some people just want to own one and they'll got, they will command big prices, even if it's just a random player, but Man, once you take the big golden tickets, the big chases, when the six-figure cards of Paul Skeens comes off the board, then when you're looking at the price points, it's kind of like, what are we doing here? You know, if you're just looking for Paul Skeens cards, they're all over eBay. They're, they printed a lot of this stuff. So if you're just looking for the refractor, these are good-looking cards too, by the way. I mean, I, I think for collectors, if you're just like, hey, I really like this set, the singles market's going to be great for this. Let it, let it kind of cool off a little bit. But man... There's going to be a lot of skeins to buy, singles. You know, if you're not going after the one-of-one -one debut patch and some of the more expensive, maybe the case hits and stuff, but you're just looking for to fill a binder with some skeins cards, they will be there for you. They already are on eBay. There's stuff that's on eBay that's not insanely expensive, and it still hasn't really cooled off yet. Give it a little bit of time. So while, yes, there's going to be a lot of excitement around these one-of-one -one debut patches, there's bounties everywhere, it's the golden ticket thing, it's the, it's the product of right now, I understand the excitement. It is going to be, and what I've watched from just a few of these videos with breaks, with breaks it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be you're buying a $400 breaker box, you're buying a $200 hobby box, you're getting $20, $30, $40 of cards out of it. That's going to be the real norm. And then, of course, yeah, you're going to have some that are, there's actually like a nice case hit and you get your money back on the box, or maybe you get double of, of, of what it is. But Again, it just goes back to the odds of all this stuff happening. You're going to see a lot, a lot, way more misses than actual hits. And again, just be careful when you're looking at you know, watching breakers and watching kind of like the excitement factor around $10 cards. You know, I think you're going to see, actually, I don't think, I know you're going to see a lot of that because that's how this whole like stupid mechanism works is you have guys that flip out over the green out of 99 for XYZ player that nobody knows. It's like, damn, bam, pow, whatever the hell, ring the bell or something stupid. This is just low-hanging fruit marketing stuff for people that are just getting in. They don't know what's going on. They've heard, oh, oh, wait, I have to buy into a break to participate in new product because that's where a lot of this is going. Oh, I need to be on Fanatics Live or I need to be on Whatnot to get into this hobby. And then how many of those folks actually stay in because they have a great experience? Not many. Not many. I would love to see the attrition on new customers. It's got to be just absolutely mind-boggling. Again, going back to collectors, focusing on collectors and collecting, the cards look great. Focus on that. Focus less of the marketing around the lotto tickets and focus more on the actual cards and what you can expect from the actual set itself. Again, James at Run Good Life, he is the guy that I go to to figure out what is what for new product. It's not mince words. He'll say, like, I think this is good value. I don't think this is good value. Actually, speaking of good value, he had put out another video, and he actually likes Stadium Club compact boxes. So Stadium Club Baseball, he threw that out as what he feels to be good value for new product. He put a video out recently on those as well. Stadium Club compact boxes. Some people like the design. Some people don't like the design of those as much, but just as far as value and the autos and that sort of a thing and price point, he said that those are probably a better value. What do you all think about this, guys? Are you chasing? Are you chasing after all of this stuff? Or are you sitting on the sidelines waiting to buy singles or just not really as interested in the new product stuff until it gets a little bit more normal? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.